Story Channel. My name is Amy. My name is Emily. And this is Ames and Ev React. We're back with another video. Um, oh, this one we had to. We had to react to it. Yeah. Because us as baby army, <laughs> we had to react. I unfortunately have watched some clips. Yeah. Like, like seen, haven't heard it. I've heard the song because obviously oh. I have their albums. But uh, I have that album. And this song is so beautiful. It is. But we haven't watched the we whole video. We haven't fully watched it because we see it on TikTok and we're just like... Eh. Yeah, we just keep scrolling. We're just like, nope, not today. But um, I'm excited, but at the same time, I feel like it's going gonna, it's gonna to be sad. Well, if, I don't know. I, it's going to... It has to be. I mean, the song, it's like, it says, we are not seven with you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, it's just like, ugh, they love us so much. They love their fans so much. BTS love their fans so much. And the fact that they actually took this one out for the FESTA. Mm -hmm. um, they've, been, they've been taking a lot of content, like, this whole entire week before the, well, the FESTA. I know this is probably come out after the FESTA is over, but this is our first FESTA, if you guys is the first time watching. This is our first FESTA, BTS FESTA ever mm -hmm. so we're still getting used to like the whole content of how they do like a, a week prior to their yeah. uh anniversary and you kind of like they give the fans like extra things like we just uh reacted to a couple of week uh, a couple of days ago we reacted to jk's song still with you that he actually wrote for bts army which i think is so beautiful it was it such was. a beautiful song and yeah now obviously we are bulletproof the eternal <laughs> this song obviously is one of those songs that gets you in the feel and i i'm not ready i'm not ready <laughs> but we're gonna have to react to it because uh, oh. are you ready no <laughs> I'll get it eventually, guys. shaky <laughs> okay there's a couple of things one i know like we just got into them last year and obviously we haven't been there since the beginning since like 2013 what was i doing in 2013 uh living under a rock that's what i was doing <laughs> but i remember like when i first got into them obviously you get so invested when you love the uh, we start really liking a band mm -hmm. and you start like looking at how they started and everything like that so like even though we are baby army and we just got into them last year we understand exactly what's going on like the whole entire like video like their struggles everything mm -hmm. like it's from the first video like i can't <laughs> like you like oh my god like i just it was just so 
there's so much going on like you saw the no video mm -hmm. the no more dream video you saw rm in the beginning with the persona looking back at how he when he started with no more dream <gasps> like that gave me goosebumps so much because sometimes like you start saying like they look back at where they started mm -hmm. and I, even the song if you guys read the lyrics like it talks about like people going at them and th in the beginning it was such a struggle for them like i know like every band struggles like in the beginning mm -hmm. especially but for some reason i feel like they were one of the ones that got so much crap in the beginning yeah especially in korea like they got so much crap they were not like the typical boy band k-pop idol group like they were super like hardcore and they tried so hard to like make it mm -hmm. and to have their own sound they didn't want to sound like everyone else and they didn't make it big they didn't start making it big until probably like three or four years after they debuted yeah and it just, it just shows their hard work and we're not even like halfway through this video and i'm literally about to cry <laughs> this video is so beautiful like it just you just see everything but at the same time like <laughs> Like, it sucks. Like, you don't want, like, anyone to suffer. Like, I hate... Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, I just... Oh, man. Oh. And then V came out with his little glasses. That's and he threw them. My heart. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I can't. Okay. Oh, my God. Come on. We still have, like, three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> The clips that we saw 
It's nothing compared to this video. Like, this, oh my god. This was so beautiful. It was, like, it started off sad because obviously, like, they probably felt alone. Like, doing everything by themselves. And then, like, at the end, like, if you saw, like, little by little, they started seeing, like, a purple light. And obviously, that means it's the fans. I can't. This video. I just want to eat. I just want to eat ice cream and just cry. Like, <laughs> like, this is so... It was so beautiful. The song is, like, one of my favorite songs from the new album. Mm -hmm. Just because you could just feel that they, like, wrote their hearts out in this song. Like, I don't know. Like, I just... this this video was so beautiful and i think it kind of concludes like the festa mm -hmm. in the perfect way yeah like for me this song and microcosmos for me are like mm -hmm. the best like two songs when it comes to like the fans mm -hmm. because it just that's exactly how they see us like i don't know how to explain it but like mm -hmm. i get to <laughs> oh my god if you guys are not fans of BTS, like, for, okay, I know that they're, like, super popular, and sometimes you guys are like, mm. like, if you listen to their songs that are not, that are on the album, but they're not the, the most popular songs, mm -hmm. they're really good songs, like, yeah, they obviously have to, like, have, like, their hit, you know, like, their comeback and whatever, and those are, like, the poppy songs mm -hmm. and the ones that are, like, super catchy, like, on and Boy With Love, because that song is still a bop. But um, the songs that come out in their in the, in the those albums, but they they're they're not so popular in the charts or whatever. If you actually listen to them, they have great music. But the lyrics, if you find the lyrics, they're so beautiful. They are like they have a way of writing. Like I said before, and I've said it a couple of times. Like when it comes to our BTS reactions, like I'm not a huge hip hop fan. Like I'm not into rap. I guess that's just not the style of music that I like. But when I started listen to, listening to BTS, I don't, I love their rap styles. The three rappers, they're all different, but they mm -hmm. are so cohesive and it's so amazing yeah. that they can all click. Like, but one of the things that I really, really admire and I love about the fandom when it comes to BTS is that so far they have been the most welcoming fandom I've ever been a part of i guess i could say like mm -hmm. it's not like i've been a, a part of like a huge fandom like in what would i say probably like the jonas brothers but we didn't even have a name for them so like come on the joe bro fans or something <laughs> but um never really been part of like a, a huge fandom or like the directioners mm -hmm. i used to be a directioner now like so hardcore like her but i do have all their albums because i did like one direction but it's i don't think i've ever seen a fandom so welcoming like bts and mm -hmm. so like hard working for some reason <laughs> these people go all out and buying all of their albums or multiple sets of albums for like <laughs> when it first came out i'm like oh okay that's a little too much like i have all their albums and i have all versions but i mm -hmm. only have like one of like of each version i don't need right like <laughs> ten thousand of like map of the soul sevens like i just need the four that i need and that's it but there's people that actually do that and it's just so amazing that like, we've met really cool people because of bts mm -hmm like online and if we even went to like a meetup one time like it was like an hour away but we drove and we were like we want to meet new people and it was so amazing like it was it was fun it was so much fun and i i'm pretty sure like at whenever they actually say that they're tour date like it's gonna be even more fun because we're just gonna be there like you imagine having like a huge crowd and going to like a concert we like this huge crowd and you are all singing these people's songs like i love going to concerts because of that mm -hmm. it's like you don't care who's next to you but you're having so much fun if <laughs> you're like screaming and no one's gonna say anything to you you know like if you're at your house and you're just like oh my gosh fan girl like your, your parents are gonna be like really like you know what i mean that happened to me a lot with the jonas brothers too like i used to be such a huge fan like this was nothing compared to what i had for, of jonas brothers like jonas brothers like you couldn't even see the wall it was just all posters and it was bad like it was just stuck together like one one after the other do i regret it no because i still love them but I remember going to their concert and because my parents would be like, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. My mom, as my mom would be like, yeah, they're cute. They sing good, but like, yeah. My dad would be like, oh my gosh, these guys. 
then now it's like I'm back at it again. Like I, I had after the Jonas Brothers, I, I think I stopped. That was my, my fangirling craze type mm -hmm. of thing. And I took down the posters and then I decorated my room like like a normal girl, you know, in her early twenties. And then when I met, when I came up with BTS, I was like, my fan girl inside, <laughs> my inner fan girl just came out. And I am, I don't care. It's my room. Like I could put whatever the hell I want in it. And if I have these beautiful seven men here. And I might end up putting more guys, like Astro and like Seventeen. I might put them up, Ooh, uh, poster. right? Um, but I am so proud to be part of BTS Army. I'm very proud of it. Mm -hmm. I think they're they're such an amazing group. Like you, you can, you don't have to like them. It's okay if you don't. But like this video is one of the many reasons as to why. Mm -hmm. I love these guys. Oh, my mom's just like, oh, later on you'll get over that. I'm like, I don't think I'll ever get over BTS. Like, they were there, like when you needed someone the most. Yeah, they came in the right exact yeah. the exact moment that I needed it last mm -hmm. year. Like last year was a huge struggle, like physic not not physically, but it was mostly mentally and emotionally for me. It was mm -hmm. really bad. I was in a, probably one of the darkest places in my life that I've ever been. Uh, like I said mentally and emotionally and these people their music just helped me get out of yeah. that and also with you because she was going through a breakup and mm -hmm. their like music just kind of like distracted you from all that obviously with my help you know <laughs> no but I'm like super happy that we mm -hmm. I mean sometimes I think like oh we should have started like it would have been cool if we started from the beginning like we, we were actually standing there from the beginning but at the same time I feel like they came in the right time. Yeah. Even though I was living under a rock in 2013. Like, come on now. One Direction. Ugh. Living under that rock. <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> but we're so happy. Oh my gosh. I'm like, literally, I have to rewatch this. Well, I don't want to rewatch it because I think I'm going to freaking cry again. Same. This is so... It was such a beautiful video. And, I, and it, it also because of the meaning behind it. Mm -hmm. This one makes it even more... Oh man, it's like it's like we're in love with them and they love us back. <laughs> it's true, like we love them and yeah, yeah, they love us back. Like so, it's not like a one way kind of. <laughs> it's like a one way <laughs> love. <laughs> um, yeah, I I mean I I know that there's like artists out there that they have like huge appreciation for their mm -hmm. fans and they do everything for their fans, but I don't think I've ever seen an artist that does this much. Mm -hmm. At least. From what I know, I'm pretty sure that there's people out there that do it a lot, and I'm not saying they don't. But like from the artists that I like and from what I listen to, mm -hmm. I don't think, I don't think a group has ever done what they've done for Army, like for their fandom, like. Yeah. Basically. Ugh, I'm in the feels now. Like I said, I'm gonna probably eat ice cream and cry, <laughs> and then just take a nap to kind of like get it over with because. This was too much. But I'm super grateful, like I said. I'm very happy that I stand this group. Mm-hmm. BTS forever. I love them so much. But anyways, if you guys have watched up to this point, it's because you like us too. So um, give this video a huge thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Doink, doink, doink. <laughs> Hit the notification bell. Bing! Who needs sound effects when you have me? Hey! And um, we will see you next time. Don't worry. We'll be back soon. We love you guys. Bye. Hey, Jimmy. You nice. Keep going. Subscribe to our channel. Subscribe. <laughs>